Hello everyone, it's Lolly. Today's project is working on an itty bitty tiny photo album that's going to fit into a pocket letter um, page protector. What you want to do is to take your pocket protector and just cut out four of these pockets leaving the bottom seam intact. I've already cut out three of them. I'm going to just kind of tidy up that bottom seam there. And then I drew a little image here. This is two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. You know me, I like to work on graph paper with my fuse. And if you haven't seen my other fuse video, you can check that out. I'll give you the link in the bottom. The project that I'm working on today, I got the idea from Anna Powell, and I'll give you the link to her video. So when you lay this out, uh, this seam is already intact, so I'm going to just put that just outside of that bottom line. I'm going to fuse on this line right there. My fuse is good and hot. I'm using a metal ruler and always fuse away from the seam that's already intact. Don't fuse from the top down unless the top is the seam that's intact. Okay, and that way you're keeping your project smooth instead of bunching it up toward there. All right, then once you lift that up, and trim off the little excess you've got there. Okay, line up all your pockets. I've already trimmed these and fused the right side, so just the bottom and rights are correct at this point. So we're going to line up the right sides and the bottom, put binder clips right there, and open that up, and a binder clip right there. Okay because now we want to fuse the left side. Now, that one of the reasons that I'm only using four of these is that these are pretty thick, and it depends on what brand you are using. Mine are pretty heavy duty. Doing more than four is really hard to get this to seal well. And um, also, once you've put your cardstock or whatever decorative things you're going to put in here or photos or whatever, it's going to make it really hard to uh, fit this into a pocket letter. So I'm going to line this bottom up under that line again and the fuse on the line I already have and fuse on this one. This is a little tricky. Be patient. This might take you a little practice getting this one done. There we go. Because you're fusing through so many different layers, to go through it just a little bit more slowly, make sure that melts all the way through, and then turn it over and do it again. Again, I'm fusing from the bottom up. And be patient when you turn this over. You don't want to l loosen your melted seams already. I'm just going to go over that one spot again. Now now I'm doing it from the top down because my fused seam is across the top. I flipped it over. I'm going to fuse top down. Like I said, it takes a lot of practice, so don't panic if you ruin a few sets of these. I mean, it's easy to do. Let that cool a minute before you mess with it, so you don't bust it open right away. Cut off the excess again. Let's see if I got a good seal there. If not, I'll just go over it again. Okay, they are intact. Okay, and on our cover, which disappeared, here it is, Again, uh, five inches by three and a half inches on this for your cover. This is cardstock, and you'll want to score this at two and a half right there. All you need to do is fix this in there. At, oh, but you see what we did here? We didn't cut the top off because this is supposed to be oh, oh, three and a quarter. So I'm going to lay this on my cutting mat. I have. I'm going to call this the spine here, from which they're all attached. I'm going to one, two, three and a quarter inches using this. As a guide, I'm going to cut those going from the top down, and on an X-Acto blade, just make several light strokes instead of trying to cut through the whole thing all at once. It'll save you from probably cutting yourself. Get that capped up there. Okay. Now let's see if we're going to fit in there. And yes, we are. So at this point, you can use a stripe of hot glue. I'm going to use glossy accents. I did try one using the Loctite super glue. It did not hold, surprisingly. So on your glossy accents, let's see if I need to unplug this. You know how these tend to get. There we go. Okay. I'm going to run a bead through here. Did it plug again? Need to keep a needle in this overnight, don't we? There, let's try that. There we go. That's goopy. Get a nice goop in there. 
Okay. And then cap that. And you have time to work with glossy accents. It doesn't harden right away. Make sure you've got the openings on the top if you know if you had your cover already decorated. Stick that right down in there pretty firmly, close it, and then you're going to want to do the binder clips on there. And let that set overnight just to make sure you've got a good seal on that, okay? And then I've got one that I've already done. Now keep in mind it's not going to open completely flat because you have glued it. So let's just give this a little bend here. Let's use this fuse ruler. A little bend right there and a little bend right there just to make sure the cover will open and you won't stress the spine. I've already put in one piece of decorative paper and you can see the ovens are blank. I think in this one what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write on the back and I'm going to put um, blank papers in here and I'm going to make it my letter, kind of a book style in here. But again, you can use it for whatever you want. And uh, this will fit down in the pocket letter. The, the cards that will fit down in here are just shy of two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So measure out two and a quarter and just make it a little skinnier so it will fit in there. So that's the project. I will give you the link to my other fuse tips and, and tricks and to Anna Powell's video for this. Thank you so much for watching and giving this a thumbs up.